All right, we just got this in. 2000 RX DI. Uh, he says it cranks, or you can hear the starter spinning, but the starter doesn't engage. So I think it's a starter Bendix, so, which is kind of ugly on these, but uh, well, let's get in there and see what's going on. Looks like somebody's already taken these uh, tubes off and just fit down here. No battery. And it's pretty disgusting in there. I was thinking about putting this on a charge. 220 millivolt. This thing is completely unsalvageable. Yeah, that's garbage. So we got the correct voltage there. No two beeps. That fuse. That's good. I actually have a 25 amp fuse. That's weird. Okay. The single beep is it's not recognizing the key. Put power directly to the starter and see what happens. Let's give it a try. So the starter's spinning, but the Bendix is not engaging the motor. What to do is uh, that bolt is falling out and missing. <laughs> There's supposed to be a bolt through that. You can see all the silicone. This has been off before. See how the head and everything is silver? This is black. This engine's been replaced. There's the bugger.
little bit of corrosion there. Yeah. Yeah, something's definitely let go. Okay. Let's see, oil pump drive. I'm gonna pull that oil pump off. stator and the ignition pickup. Yeah, that it's been spinning around in there melting. I hope you can buy that piece. <laughs> So the starter drives this, mm -hmm. and it's uh, these things will fly out and grab and crank the engine. But if the engine runs faster, they fall in, so that it can't drive the starter back.
let's go scoping. That's the top of the piston. I think that dark line right. is the top of the piston crown. Hey, look at the piston wall. Like I think those two spots are on the piston crown. That's the, we're looking at the piston wall, like the cylinder wall. Yeah. It's the rave valve. That thing with the blue cap on it's like a guillotine. But look how corroded all the intake is. He said it started doing this problem and he just didn't want to deal with it and he parked it for about a year and a half. Which I kind of believe in this. Yeah, looking at the pictures, this thing's locked up. It's corrosion, everything's rusted up. Yeah. I'm call and see what he says. Uh, I got some bad news for you. This uh, this engine is locked up solid. It's got like I put a scope down the cylinder. There's so much corrosion in there. It um, it's yeah it's screwed. I got it all I got it all apart and the starter Bendix was uh, there's like little springs and pawls all over the place. Um, but then when we went to get take the flywheel nut off. I could take it off without having to hold the motor. All the cylinder walls are corroded. There's all kinds of fluffy stuff all over the top of the piston. So, yeah, basically, I mean, if you if you wanted to fix it, it needs a block. But uh, if it was mine, I wouldn't fix it. Okay, get it. Right. Well, you could put, this was at the end of the video. Put um, assembly is reverse of this assembly. <laughs> That's one of the ports because you can't stick the screwdriver past the cylinder wall. So whatever is in there is also down in the bottom of the motor too. It's unsalvageable. Well, anything can be fixed if you throw enough money at it. But said, it's kind of a shame because the rest of it is actually in pretty decent shape for a 20 year old machine. This is actually, cosmetically it's nice, but not worth fixing. <laughs> 